Well, there we go. Hello, Tony. It's Friday. Finally. You sound excited. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. So, as it's Friday, we thought we'd uh, give everybody a happy weekend video, right? Version 3.1, we're going to introduce a new feature. Um, it's uh, NX Cloud integration uh, with Zapier. Um, Zapier is a uh, basically a, an online cloud-based workflow uh, connector um, service. And what it does is it allows you to connect cloud-to-cloud connect -cloud -cloud services. So, for example, if I got a Gmail from somebody and I wanted to take that Gmail and put a record of it in a spreadsheet, and then I could totally do that. Or if, uh, you know, when uh, something happens on uh, Facebook, then I want to take out the images from Facebook, and I want to put them into my Google Drive, just as an example. Um, but there's there's lots of different ways to connect things. So what we've done is we've connected uh, NX Witness uh, via NX Cloud uh, with Zapier um, for two-way communications. So you can create uh, Zapiers, what's called Zaps, um, and those Zaps will allow you to trigger events in NX Witness, but you can also send uh, events from NX Witness to Zapier to trigger other applications that are connected via Zapier, right? Um, so what we've done today is uh, we've set it up so that um, I've got a software trigger, um, and it's on our IT room door. We don't like it when our IT room door is open because people can take down our internet and internet's important for us. Yep. Um, so the IT room is do op doors open right now, and James is sitting in the uh, kitchen having a drink. Um, James is our guard for the day, so I'm gonna send. I'm gonna push this button, and it's gonna send an SMS to James, and it's also going to create a task for James uh, to go and check the IT room door. And then it's gonna add a line here to the uh, alarm check. Uh, spreadsheet on Google Sheets so I can have a record that I initiated this uh, specific event right um, and then it's also going to create a bookmark for that event in the system so what we've done is we set up I'm sending out to all these different services and then Zapier is sending back saying hey bookmark that right so let's test it real fast um, when I push this button here uh, James should get a message um, let's see if he responds Yep. So he's got the message and he's moving. You can see here there's a there's a new task assigned to James. Uh, alarm check at Tony's office. It's actually wrong. It's IT room door. I just have the name wrong. So uh, when James uh, got that, he also went and probably updated that to say um, it's in progress. I'm working on it. Yeah, there you go. So he's actually addressing the alarm that I just sent him, right? Uh, so and then we should see him come well. check in the video as well. Okay, great. So now he's uh, going to check the door, make sure nobody's uh, stealing anything in the IT room and then close the door right and if i go to the video here you can see there's a bookmark that's been created it room alarm check alarm check initiated it room door mm. right guard response it room door alarm and then down here we've got room door is open please check the situation and close james responded so i'm gonna put james cox here as our respondee and door closed no issue right so now i have all those different things that have just occurred because of the fact that I had Zapier integrated, right? So it allows me to integrate with third-party systems. It allows me to basically do AND functions inside of NX, so I can send stuff back to NX and then send generic events back to NX and then do actions with them as well. Um, so it's just a really powerful tool. Um, the way that you set it up, um, we're gonna send out a link for the beta invite uh, for NX Cloud and Zapier. Um, when you go to Zapier, here's the, uh, the uh, workflow that I've just created, right? And I'll make that full screen so it's easier to see. So the first thing is receive an HTTP action from NX, from uh, NX Witness, right? So the first thing you have to do is go select NX Cloud. Again, you have to have the beta link right now to get that. Um, once we've had 20 people create um, zaps and use them, it will become a publicly available thing. But right now you need the beta invite link, which we'll put on this video. Um, so. Receive an HTTP action from NX. So we're sending an HTTPS request uh, to Zapier. Um, and then it's connected to my cloud account. The first time you set it up, you'll have to go in and connect the account. You'll click on this button here, and it'll ask you to log in to NX Cloud using your NX Cloud credentials. Um, under options, you have, you have to choose the system. If you've got multiple systems connected to your cloud account, you can choose which system. And under caption, you can just put in a caption that you, that, that uh, that'll help you uh, identify the trigger, right? 
So that's the first step is receive an action from NX, right? As soon as you save this, right, then in the system, you'll see a new rule gets created. And the new rule will be a soft trigger and it'll be applied to all cameras. So you'll go have to you'll have to go back in and set it to each specific camera and everything you want it to be applicable to, right? Um, so once that's done, the button will show up. You can go in and change the icon. You can change the name. Um, one important thing is if you're changing the name, then you'll notice something weird, right? So if I change this to check IT room and just take off that and I press apply, it'll say rules are not valid. That's because we uh, have a bug in the client where it thinks that it has to be an HTTP string, not an HTTPS. But you can ignore that, just say no, like ignore that and press okay and, and it'll work as you modify the rule. Um, so you can see it actually created the HTTP request for you um, in your system. So you don't have to create any of this. More importantly, don't modify this. If you modify this, you'll break it, right? Um, and then, once that's set up, you'll have to add your connected actions, right? Zapier has a lot of actions built in. SMS saved by Zapier is one of them. Um, that's where we sent myself an SMS saying, check this, right? Um, same thing for task. It, this is integrated via Zapier with Meister task. Um, so, you can see I just pressed the new button, it came in. So you integrate with Meister task here. Each one of these workflows is slightly different, so you have to go through and configure them for each one and test it. Um, create a spreadsheet row on Google Spreadsheet, which we, we see here, right? And then the last thing we do is make a generic event. Make a generic event in NX Witness, which is what we use to create the bookmark here, right? So that's how it all works, right? Um, you guys go play with it. Go see what kind of cool integrations you uh, can do and let us know what kind of other actions you have that you want to do that maybe you can't do. Maybe we can give you an, a, an example of how you can accomplish it. Do you have any questions about it? Since it's a web-based uh, uh, app or service, uh, do you have to uh, actually have it uh, open in your browser to make it? Uh, no, no, no. Once, once you're done setting it up and everything, now it's yeah. just a cloud-based service, right? So once everything is set up, you can just use your system like normal. Oh. Right, we just showed it as an example on this one. I see. Right, so this is an alarm. I just pressed the button earlier, it came in again. Yeah. This is just MindMeister's interface inside the web part of the client. But no, you don't have to have it open. It'll run all the time in the background. Cool. Um, there are some rules on Zapier in terms of how, how fast the zaps run. So you'll have to check that out for each app that you're trying to create. Uh, there are different rules. Um, for example, what was the one you were, we were trying to create where it's uh, 15 minutes? Completed task. Complete task. So we wanted to do, oh, when the task is completed, create a bookmark, right? But the problem is uh, my, Meister task only runs every 15 minutes. So we, for this demo, we couldn't really wait 15 minutes to show you the bookmark being created, so we just skipped that part of it, right? Any more questions? What are you doing tonight? We're going to go watch the... Uh, New Avengers. Yahoo! <laughs> All right, guys. That, so that's Zapier integration in version 3.1. It's really cool. We want to see what you guys can do with it. Thanks, guys.